Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. Uh, my name's Nick, and welcome to, or welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've been at work all day, and I've been super busy doing a lot of uh, work stuff, and uh, lo and behold, unfortunately, the Homelander trailer debuted as soon as my shift began. I uh, wasn't able to pull a dial in boys or dibs and uh, do a reaction in the bathroom or do whatever he did, which I will say is top tier stuff right there. Wait, great way to do it. Mortal Kombat trailer came out today. I'm in my office bathroom because Netherum decided to <laughs> drop their trailers at nine in the morning when I'm at work. Uh, so I have my setup here. I'm able to look at it. It was nice we got to see that teaser a while back and the one that we got yesterday of the great voice work that we got of Homelander, him talking to Kung Lao. Now we're closer to the release date. I do know that it's next week. It's when the season ends. We find out that uh, he'll be debuting with the new season, season six. But we get Homelander, which is honestly a character that the more and more we heard about him, I know at first when we found out that Chris Cox was going to be doing the voice or if independent is him, I have no idea anymore. I didn't think the internet knows anymore. But when we found out that it wasn't going to be Anthony Starr, I know a lot of people were just disappointed and people were already disappointed at the fact that it's two Superman-like characters with Omni-Man and Homelander. But ever since they started showcasing like these quick teases, ever since CCXP, I feel like we've gotten to the point where excitement is going back through the roof again. I remember seeing some people saying that like this is actually one of the characters they're now looking forward to the most, which is pretty exciting. Anyways, I'm dragging this on way too long, but Homelander's here. It's been a character I've been looking forward to ever since I've been watching more of the boys. It's also interesting we're going to be getting ourselves Pharaoh, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing how Pharaoh is going to play. Uh, this will be the fifth out of uh, six of the combat pack characters, so I'm looking forward to seeing how he's going to play. Still got the milk. Um, even like down to a T, I just got the part in season two. You have chosen war with a god. No, you have. Yep, same dialogue, yep. Okay, oh, we're not gonna get the, uh, him fighting back on them. Still the laser eyes look great. Farah, she's like egging him on, I like that. Liu Kang, I, I am so sorry. Second time you get destroyed by a superhero Fight. like character. Oh, he's floating, he's like Superman. Very aerial and speed based? This is interesting. Okay, he has the counter thing. Very laser eyes, air. Uh oh, he's got a Ermac Levitate and a What is Pharaoh? That is so weird. That'll get ratings. <laughs> they just remade the scene from the season one, the first episode. You are most selfish. Sticks and stones, Katana. Wow, that just sounded so much like him. Wait, is that one of his eyes? Is him when he does the blind spot? I think it was his name. Is that one of his tanks just clapping their head? Okay, throwing Pharah, that's a that's cute. That's probably a sweep that charging me. Okay, that's fun. Everyone has a freezing point. Take your best shot, Frosty. <laughs> Whoa, what? Oh, so, oh, we get, um, pain in game. That's cool. So he's very air combat is what I'm noticing. It's very interesting. Like air camping. He's very much Sindel Ermac mixed with some Superman elements. This is so interesting. He has counter. It's just cool to see characters have counters again. I feel like Rago has a much of cool, but I, I like seeing someone else or something. Oh, we got a fatal blow time. Oh, the scapulas, the spatulas in your back. Ooh, whoa, that was a good contestants that got messed up there. That's gross and the green ooze. I don't like that. Okay, I called it. He wasn't going to die there. Oh my god. Oh my god, he went out like syndrome! Oh, we get a second one now. Oh! No, not the man buns! Oh, jeez. Homelander got the leg up on Sub Zero, too. Fatality. Homelander wins. Oh, Fair is gonna be available in June, too. Oh, yep, this is the 
MKX fatality just minus um, four, like splitting them apart. Wow, that was actually pretty good. Um, I'm gonna look back real quick at a few things in here. Um, I will say the facial animations that they have, uh, I forgot the animator's name, but um, kudos to you for your amazing work. Having him express so many emotions at once and like just de like, especially with him like drinking the milk. If people are getting disgusted, you did an amazing job. I will say that. And even like him going like, but like even just like emoting like uh, Anthony does. You did a great job with him there. So uh, I just want to say presentation wise, you nailed him with the design. He looks so good. And I can't wait to have Omni-Man beat his ass. I honestly, death, death Battle reference, I already know that Omni-Man would absolutely floor Homelander, but I honestly can't wait to check out Homelander. Funny enough, it's actually the one character that my mom and dad were like flabbergasted about because they both loved the boys so much. Um, but no, uh, once I told them that he was coming in, they were like, what? That's so cool. Um, but I kind of want to look back at his gameplay again. It's so interesting that he's all float-based, like something like uh, with um, Superman. Because I know like the big thing everyone was going to say is, okay, you have two Superman characters. You have Omni-Man and Homelander. How are they going to play different? And I know a lot of people are like complaining that why are you adding two of the same characters and my thing is they have very different powers that they can just implement and if they made uh if they decided to make omni-man more of like the up close bruiser brawler type guy and some command gra or some grabs here and there um homelander seems like he's very projectile based but i'm happy they're not even though some of them look like their jabs like the sweeps that you see that he does um I'm happy to see that even some of them are just straight lasers or they're part integrated into his combos. Like you can see when he does like an air juggle against uh, Liu Kang and they're part of his like grabs and whatnot. Um, and then you have some more just straight shots or just uh, air versions of it. And even has that like flight mode too, which is interesting where he flies around the screen. It's interesting. The only thing that's super weird so far, and I'm just going through the footage again that I just saw it, is when Pharah jumps on your back, you can do short hops, which I remember was a thing in MK11's competitive if you wanted to do short jumps to like dodge low jabs or like low projectiles. But it seems very situational how they're presenting it here. So I hope it's not super gimmicky and I hope it's more like useful to the meta of MK1 at least. Um, but I will say him grabbing them and throwing them in the air. Great reference to the first episode of the show and then him presenting it to the camera as they fly down. Guaranteed that's a brutality where they're going to land, fall on their head, and they just get crushed or something. Um, yeah, no, it is nice that because my only concern was, okay, are they going to like abuse or overuse the hell out of the uh, like laser eyes as this projectile? But it's nice that they are integrating it into like combo strings, like low and then hit again. Um, but no, this is definitely interesting seeing him uh, seeing him presented in such a fun way to make him not have, make him ha especially have two super superhuman like characters play super different. Now the one that's super weird is the one I just showed, I just saw it again on Sub Zeros, is where he like hits you with a laser and then raises you up in the air. So I need to look back at this again. I already feel like I just missed it. Okay, yep. Uh, no, that's an enhanced. Oh, so it looks like it's a wind up because he like goes and it like goes into it. So something tells me that's a wind up, and if it lands, it gives you an opportunity for juggle combos. But they seem to cancel it into pain and gain. So from what it looks like Pain and Gain only has, it looks like it still has the armor effect, but I wonder if it's gonna have that like bonus damage that it used to have in MKX. If so, there are some characters that are gonna, like especially with like low damage, like Sub-Zero, I know because he's, been a, he's had a huge issue with like being heavily reliant on only Chameleon or Serena and his combos can, he definitely needed, uh, I know it's like he's just a one trick pony with like, okay, ice vapors, but I feel like he can finally get some more damage, especially with that buff, but depending on how much damage Homelander's gonna do, because it seems like he does a lot of like fast hits, so I don't think it's gonna do a lot, but I feel when he has pain and gain active, that's really where the damage is gonna kick in really good for him. But yeah, he seems to be like a good mix, um, jack of all trades type of character, 
honestly, but it's also weird. It's also interesting the flight thing. Very air juggle, um, ground to air to ground combos, which is interesting. And it seems like fair, it gives you a lot of opportunities to juggle, especially like doing the bowling ball throw. Um, Oh, and you can even, something I just noticed, when he's in the air, when Farrah jumps up, you can use Farrah in the air to, like, bounce them down, which is another cool feature. I'm happy to see that. And then the Fatal Blow, as we, show, as we uh, saw, is gross, I will say that. Um, but it's also interesting that it's, like, a blast, 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 so I wonder if, like, you can block the first one and they don't, it still hits them, or you can just dash ahead or like just jump over it and then they're kind of screwed because it looks like it's just hitting three spots in the floor um so i wonder how that's gonna work when it comes to like dodging or evading it but um honestly homelander is definitely someone that has uh piqued my interest i mean i like the show i love to hate him in the show i love hate him as a character i just hate everything he stands for so i think if you like the boys you're gonna have a good time beating up homelander if you don't like homelander you're gonna have a fun time beating up homelander or if you just want to see what he's capable of in the mortal kombat universe you can play as him and see what he can do but uh that's just my take on homelander i think he looks super fun and i can't wait to check him out and i know there's probably gonna be a combat cast soon where we'll be able to see his second fatality in full uh i know because it's just a reference to like his other kills with lasers in the show, like when he kills, I'm kind of forgetting her name from the first season, but spoilers for the first season, when he like lasers the one chick in the face and she dies, and then how he kills several people overseas by like lasering their legs and they fall, because you see it at, when he's doing the finisher against Sub-Zero, uh, you see his legs are already chopped off. And honestly, when it comes to the airplane fatality, I was honestly expecting it to be um, a little more overkill, like how he throws him in the air and then he gets hit the front. I honestly thought he was gonna like laser across it with them on it and then they just crash land into the ground attached to the plane and that's how they die and it'd be him recreating the pose from the end of the first episode. But no, I think grabbing them and then just doing the whole no capes thing and dropping them into the uh, turbine is definitely a unique way to go. Definitely giving me some MK4, MK Armageddon vibes throwing them into the giant fan. It's definitely gross and um, something I'd love to cover on all guest character fatalities re-ranked with uh, Combat Pack 1 from MK1 on here. Um, but overall, Homelander, I like him a lot. I like what he's presenting. I can't wait to see more of how he's going to play. And um, what's your thoughts on Homelander overall? Are you enjoying the stream of content so far from the MK team? And are you enjoying the stream of content that I'm providing? Please let me know and let your uh, voices be heard. Or if you even want to reach out to me and give me some video suggestion ideas, a lot of people have already, you can connect with me in the comments. You can do so through my Instagram or you can do so through Twitter on my DMs. All of your feedback means a ton. I feel like I'm going to be switching more to all costumes ranked and just doing some more fun discussion videos because I have a few ideas in there, such as involving the guest characters, doing some uh, top fives once again, and then even like the future of the series and then just doing some more costume rankings outside of uh, Mortal Kombat, such as Yoshimitsu and Spider-Man. So that'll be fun. Please let me know what you thought of this down below too. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe and share with your friends. It really helps grow the channel a ton and your uh, feedback and support really mean a ton. Can't wait to play as Homelander soon and I'm looking forward to playing Mortal Kombat 1 with you guys too. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name's Nick and have a wonderful rest of your day. Fight.